CompTIA Security Plus SY0-701 Practice Exam Questions 146 through 150 This video is part of our practice exam video series and is filled with questions that closely resemble the real exam. So are you prepared to test your knowledge? Great, let's begin. Question 146. A security team is reviewing a software application's behavior during runtime to observe how it interacts with system resources, network connections, and memory. Which of the following techniques are they most likely using? The answer is A. Dynamic analysis. Dynamic analysis is the process of evaluating an application while it is running to detect vulnerabilities or unexpected behaviors. This method allows analysts to monitor the actual execution flow, including real-time interactions with the operating system and network. It is particularly useful for identifying runtime errors, memory leaks, or malicious behavior that might not be visible through static analysis alone. Question 147. A threat analyst is investigating a covert communication technique in which a message is hidden within a digital image file to conceal the existence of the communication itself. Which of the following cryptographic techniques is most likely being used? The answer is D. Steganography. Steganography is a technique used to hide the existence of communication by embedding data within non-suspicious files, such as images or audio. Unlike encryption, which protects the content of a message, steganography conceals that a message exists at all. This makes it a useful tool for covert communication or data exfiltration that avoids detection. Question 148. Which of the following describes an attack in which a malicious actor registers a website address that closely resembles a legitimate domain, often using character substitutions or common misspellings to trick users? The answer is A. Typo squatting. Typo squatting is a type of social engineering and domain based attack in which threat actors register deceptive domain names that closely resemble legitimate ones. These domains often use subtle changes, such as replacing the letter O with a zero or swapping two characters to trick users into visiting a malicious website. Once on the site, users may unknowingly enter sensitive information, download malware, or be redirected to harmful content. Typo squatting takes advantage of human error and is often used to impersonate well-known brands or services. Question 149. A data protection method used by a company involves replacing sensitive data with surrogate values that retain the same format but have no exploitable meaning. What is this technique called? The answer is B. Tokenization. Tokenization is a technique that protects sensitive information by replacing it with surrogate values that preserve the original format but hold no real meaning. The actual data is stored securely elsewhere and can only be retrieved through a secure lookup process. This allows systems to function as expected without exposing the real data, improving security while maintaining compatibility. Question 150. A systems administrator needs to adjust which users and groups can read or modify a specific file. Which of the following would best allow the administrator to fine tune these permissions? The answer is C. Access control list. An access control list, or ACL, is a security mechanism that defines which users, groups, or system processes can access specific system objects such as files, folders, or network resources. It also specifies what actions they are allowed to perform, including reading, writing, or executing. By using ACLs, administrators can fine-tune access by assigning highly specific permissions that align with each user's role or responsibility. So, did any of these questions give you a tough time? Don't worry if they did. It's all part of the learning process. Luckily, Certification Synergy has a wealth of free video content at your disposal. 
To stay connected with our latest IT learning resources, just give a quick click on the subscribe button. This simple action ensures you are always updated about our newest video releases. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more great content.